Well, well, you know, when I spoke to him, I spoke to him when he was in jail. When I was in jail, I spoke to him. You spoke to him on the phone? Yeah. What did he, what did he, he called you? Cause he, or you called no, him? No, I called him. Uh, you know, uh, one of my friends worked for Smooth Magazine. This okay. is when he first, when he was first coming out. Okay. Before he had blew up and no bodyguards and none of that. So, um, when I found out that he was using my name, I started trying to find out who he was. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. All right, did you, <laughs> hey, I, I gotta ask you about this because you never told me about this and I heard you say it. And then, uh, this deposition, you telling me that Rick walked in there, shook everybody's hand, and did not shake your hand? No, he didn't acknowledge me. Didn't even look at you? Or he looked at you and looked the other way? Or he didn't even look at you? You know, he kind of did. Like, I got up. Cause everybody, you got up to shake his hand. Everybody in the room got up. Like, you what's know, up? Just being respectful. Just being respectful. So I got up, and he walked. I, he shook my lawyer's hand. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at you and like, he didn't even look at you. He just, yeah, just like. Like, damn, this is the reason I'm in here. Yeah, that's what he was saying. How long did y'all stay in there? It's, we stayed in there a few hours. Really? Yeah, yeah. And he wouldn't look at you. Did he look at you, like, side-eye you or anything? I can't remember, man. That's, that was so long He probably ago. wasn't looking at him. No, no, he I seen know, I was looking no, at No, he him. looked at him. Because he the real Rick Ross. I was looking at him. He was looking at, he looking at him like, nigga, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that nigga like, man, you for real. And he wouldn't even this. look at you because he know he couldn't even look in your eyes. Well, well, you know, when I spoke to him, I spoke to him when he was in jail. When I was in jail, I spoke to him. You spoke to him on the phone? Yeah. What did he, what did he, he called you? Cause he, or you called no, him? No, I called him. Uh, you know, uh, one of my friends worked for Smooth Magazine. This okay. is when he first, when he was first coming out. Okay. Before he had blew up and no bodyguards and none of that. So, um, when I found out that he was using my name, I started trying to find out who he was. And you know, I was already in the music industry. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you I was knew, messing knew around people. with people in the music industry already, and and newspapers and all that. You know, because I'd already my story had already been all over, so I'd already knew a lot of people that was in the industry. So I started calling everybody. Who know this guy? And uh, one of my partners said, "No, nah, he'll be in my office Monday morning at nine o'clock. Call, call me. I'll put him on the phone with you." So he put him on the phone with me. We talked. He gave me his number. We talked one time after that. And then he changed his number. So he thought he talked <coughs> like like I respect you and oh my goodness that, he that was, first was, day that first day it was like you know like I was I was his pimp or something yeah right? like, <laughs> like I, I, this is why I did this but See, you know exactly I, this is exactly. really why I did this man I played I played a record and I mentioned your name on it to some dudes in a car and and everybody ears perked up. You know, I couldn't have make that shit up. I don't know nobody no, that is no, perfect. perfect. <laughs> you know what, so I, what that Eric, mean? Eric. What that mean? You know what I'm saying? God, dog. And then all of a sudden, he the second time you call. But see, now I was telling him that I want him to come and see me. Because I had some ideas for us to do some business. Yeah, which you know? makes sense. And I was telling him, like, look, you ain't got to tell them you me. If you just be my friend, they're yeah. going to like you. They're going to like you regardless. They're going to like you because you're my friend because you support me. You know, like I, 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 I told him, I said, man, what we do is one day you're doing your show, we call. And this is before most people had never heard that this is a call from a federal prison. Exactly. So I'm telling him, okay, while in the middle of your show, I call, and they play it over the old intercom. And when they hear that, man, and then you have like a quick conversation right in front of the whole audience, they're going to go crazy They're going to go man. crazy for you. And you know, I guess his his handler was like, "Oh no, man! If they find out that that you ain't the real Rick Ross, and that there's he didn't real think, Rick and at Ross. that time he didn't know if he was getting out. No, he knew I was getting out. Then. He knew I had a date. Yeah, I had a date then. I had like I had like three years left. So he knew you was getting out. I, maybe he. I don't know. I don't know if he. I don't it, know if he did or not. But I knew I was getting out. Yeah, but and he understood. If, if he would have asked me, I would have told him that I'm coming. I'm coming home, home man. Yeah. You use my name, but you gonna have to. You gonna have to do something. And then you know, I was getting letters from from the little girl Esther Piles. Okay. And she she I called her one day and she was like, I'm going to do your boy video and blah blah blah. And uh, man, she said he dropped so much salt on me. Oh, you messing with Damn. that dude? You call that dude in jail? You can have anybody you want. You know, just some some haterism. But freeway was it a was it a plus or a takeaway with you maneuvering the business and doing all the stuff you doing? Him using your name, 
Uh, do, is it a plus in that? Is there a good thing? Anything? Oh, he good definitely he definitely kept the name alive and 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 made the name no, more no, more notable. You know, uh, um, you figure what they probably spend but ten twenty million dollars marketing marketing yeah. So you know all that help with the name. You know Rick Ross, so people recognize the name because when they hear Rick Ross, most people first thing they think is him. Yeah, yeah, you know. But then when they find out that there's a real Rick Ross, you know, then they'd be like, wow, you know. So it, it, it definitely was, was, was a, it helped. It, it helped. helped. Let's, yeah. Right, let's talk about the podcast that you're going to do now that Joe Rogan is. <laughs> 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 I heard that shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got to right. do it, man. You know, uh, you know, Joe told me to do that T-shirt, man. Yeah, I remember seeing that. that. And that T-shirt went crazy, so. Everybody been telling me, man, do a podcast, do a podcast. Man, I ain't got time for no damn podcast. <laughs> What's going to make that podcast different this time from the last time you did a podcast? What went wrong the last time? Well, I really didn't do a podcast. I I never, I I, I was on a podcast with, with Dave Mays. That's, that's the, and then that podcast was based on Snowfall. Yeah. If, if I do one now, it's going to be just based on whatever I want to do, you know, whatever, whoever I, you know, like I probably bring one of my homies in that um, who did forty five years. Whoa! You know who's a real who's a real crip. Oh yeah! Oh <laughs> man, a real one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and, and you know I, people like that there. You know, probably you know I I, I like the interview Joe. You know? Really? Uh, absolutely. Because I didn't I didn't ask him no question about himself. You no, know, no, we, you know what? We, I want that interview now that you said we it. We talked about me. That'll be hard. Joe Joe Rogan and Joe some Rogan. of the other people you know that 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 done did interviews with me. I probably would interview you and ask get yeah, your personal course. business. Yeah, and I showed up, <laughs> give it up, we'll give it up. We'll give it up. For, yeah. for you, for you, hell yeah. yeah so, you gotta so, ask the right question. So <laughs> so so I, I think I think I could I could do that. I know, know. you could. Uh, I, I um, really do. And you know, probably a lot of lot of the lames ain't gonna probably come in and no. interview with me. But you know, the real people that they'll come in, I believe. And and you know, we have some good conversation. That's all it is. And I know one of the things that I definitely want is I want a, a phone line where people can call in and and talk on the phone. Because I'll be having some conversations on the phone, man. People would be like, "Wow, they would they would not believe some of the the equipment got it on." All you hit is hit the button and it. When, it comes right that. in. I'm, they to call right in here. Well, right, I'm doing it. I'm doing, that's what I want to do live. <laughs> well, you know, anything you need from me, I'm definitely going. Whatever you need, if it's any information, anything I can do, man, we love you, Rick. Man, we'll do whatever I love you for too, you. Man. We, you know, I got. I have a question. This is my you guy, know, I love you too. This is my guy, I love man. You too. I, and that's why I tell you, anything you need, we doing it. You know All what right. I'm saying? All right. Whatever I got to do. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.